When using an exhaust gas analyzer as a diagnostic tool, it is important to remember that combustion actually takes place twice before reaching the tailpipe. Primary combustion occurs in the engine, and secondary combustion occurs in the catalytic converter. Up until now, we've been focusing on pre-catalyst emissions known as engine out gases. But in diagnosing emissions and drivability concerns, you'll be utilizing post-catalyst emissions readings. When the engine out gases reach the three-way catalytic converter, two chemical processes occur, catalyst reduction and catalyst oxidation. During catalyst reduction, oxides of nitrogen react with carbon monoxide to create nitrogen and carbon dioxide. During catalyst oxidation, Hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide continue to burn if there is sufficient oxygen. This chemical reaction results in the oxidation of the hydrogen and carbon resulting in water and carbon dioxide. Here is an example of how this process will affect the readings you may get from an exhaust gas analyzer. A minor misfire under load may be causing a vehicle to surge. Without the catalytic converter, an exhaust gas analyzer would show an increase in HC and O2 and a reduction in CO2. With a relatively efficient catalytic converter, however, the excessive HC will be oxidized, causing the HC and O2 readings to fall and the CO2 to increase, resulting in exhaust gas readings which look normal. In another example, a restriction in the fuel return line is elevating the fuel pressure causing an excessively rich mixture. Without the catalytic converter, an exhaust gas analyzer would show elevated CO readings and reduced oxygen readings. With the catalytic converter oxidizing this excessive CO, however, CO levels would appear normal. The telltale sign of a problem would be the excessively low oxygen reading. The increase in CO caused a proportionate decrease in oxygen, and the little oxygen that remains is utilized by the catalytic converter to oxidize the CO. This means virtually no oxygen is left in the exhaust gases. So you can see that you have to take the catalytic converter and the relationship of all five gases into account when using the exhaust gas analyzer in diagnostic troubleshooting.